There's one Utah politician wants to ban cleavage altogether, it seems. Senator Todd Weiler of Utah introduced <laughs> legislation asking that the state recognize porn as an epidemic that is harming the nation. He joins us now via Skype. Uh, welcome to the show, Senator. So you're, you're calling porn a public health hazard. I would really like to uh, change the dialogue on pornography in the United States. And with a hat tip to Piers Morgan, I'd like to see the United States take more of an approach like England has and make the internet opt in for pornography and default not having pornography. And I think just like tobacco, I think if you approach it as a, as a public health issue, uh, because it's addictive and it's harmful, in my opinion. Um, just like tobacco is not banned today, but we, uh, we're more careful about allowing children to have access to it. And that's really what I'm trying to do with pornography. I have a lot of sympathy for what you're doing. I've got four kids myself. You know, when I was a young, rampant, testosterone fueled teenage boy. Those were called eight millimeter films <laughs> well, back then. No, but it was very, very hard to ever even see pornography. Yes. You know, I, I tried, trust me. Um, <laughs> but we all did. You're right, we all did, right? Now it's just incredibly easy and you don't have to buy it. It's free. And there's some pretty alarming stuff on the internet, I think, for young kids uh, who can access it very quickly. In England, you're right, you have to opt into it. You have to basically go against the default position of the internet service coming into your home. I think that's a pretty sensible thing to do if you have kids. If you're an adult, you make your own minds up. Yeah. But for children, to protect them at the first level, I think it's a I, good I idea. I actually agree with that as well. And, and Senator Weiler, I, I think that that makes a lot of sense. Also, because you can stumble across porn as a kid nowadays very, very easily. I get all that. I think the only thing I take issue with is, is you did make a comment saying drugs will leave your system, but porn won't. And so as a medical doctor, you know, I, I look at, I, I do look at pornography can certainly cause a lot of problems. In fact, studies have looked at people who regularly view porn. They have a dulled sexual response. Teens who frequently are exposed to it have higher likelihood of teen pregnancy, lower self-esteem. Um, not everyone can hang well, from I have to like remind you guys that this is America. I mean, you know, so freedom, and, of and freedom of speech. So at some point, you know, parents need to take it upon themselves to have filters but, on but their wouldn't internet it be easier, service. though, to defend the, the center where you would have to opt in for the parent? Yeah, because but, that filter's but, but then in place? Easier, easier really is just censorship. To me, what this gentleman in Utah is doing, and I haven't agreed with many things Utah lawmakers have done in this area in the past, because <laughs> there's always been a sense of you being quite prudish down there, and I'm not a prude, but if you've got kids, I think this makes sense. I do too. And as far as, far as adults, I think it's a great source for continuing education. I've, I, and I've, I've enjoyed all your adult movies, and I don't want you to give up. <laughs> well, thank you. So, Senator Weiler, before we let you go, is your ultimate goal here to uh, ban porn altogether or just to set these limits on it? No, I, I'm a lawyer. I respect the First Amendment uh, decisions from the Supreme Court. I'm not trying to censor anything, but, you know, kids can access porn at libraries. They can take their tablets to McDonald's and on get free Wi-Fi and access porn. So it's not just an issue of uh, what parents can do in their own home. Well, thank you so much, Senator, for joining us. Thank you.